It's called Project Airbridge. Our Airbridge continues to work. We built an Airbridge with Asia. Almost from the beginning, the administration has talked about Project Airbridge in really soaring terms as a kind of wartime effort, hearkening back to the Berlin airlift or the Manhattan Project or even the moon landing and has given the administration kind of a rhetorical bridge as much as a logistical one. The team doing that is an incredible team of military people and young geniuses. Literally bringing in uh, medical equipment from around the country and around the world and deploying it to critical areas. The president, the vice president and others were often uh, giving misleading statements about what was actually being delivered through Project Airbridge. In late March and around early April, at this peak moment of the pandemic crisis, the administration comes out with this thing called Project Airbridge. FEMA is working with these companies to launch Project Airbridge to expedite the movement of critical supplies from other countries to the United States. The idea was to take uh, supplies that are in Asia mostly and expedite their delivery to the United States by sending cargo flights to pick them up and bring them to the United States much faster than they would arrive if they were shipped by sea. These materials would arrive in the United States. They would be distributed by the private companies to their existing customers. FEMA gets to tell the private companies where to distribute 50% of those supplies based on CDC hotspots. We found it was impossible to find out where in fact and confirm where in fact these materials uh, arrived. We called 10 of the uh, hardest hit counties and asked them if they had received these supplies. And in almost every case, they said they were unaware of that. You know, they call this the air bridge where they're bringing stuff back from uh, China to the United States. And then they're delivering it to private companies in the United States, not to the states. And they're letting all of us bid against each other for those goods that are uh, owned by the private companies. Every day, new plane loads are landing in cities such as New York, Miami, Chicago, Los Angeles. Additional flights have been scheduled and we're adding more and more. And uh, they're actually coming in ahead of schedule. The unmistakable impression that viewers would have come away with was that Project Airbridge was delivering vast quantities of much needed PPE every day to the United States. Administration officials, including the vice president, were either misleading the public with the statistics they were releasing, or they were overstating the amount of supplies being delivered through Project Airbridge. The average daily delivery through the commercial network through our Airbridge is 22 million facial masks coming into uh, the marketplace. These flights have expedited nearly 1 billion pieces of PPE. Over more than 100 taxpayer-funded Project Airbridge flights, um, it turns out the administration has only brought in about 800,000 N95 masks, and the government procured nearly 78 million N95 masks through conventional channels. And what we also found was that 90% of the supplies that Project Airbridge delivered have turned out to be um, disposable gloves. And we created a control tower approach with the private company distributors in order to make sure that we could be as efficient as possible. And it's been quite successful. Well, Project Airbridge delivered important quantities of certain items of PPE. That part of it is, is not to be dismissed. It also contributed to the overall impression of, of chaos and a kind of free-for-all marketplace for these items. Both state officials and federal officials felt like um, they were either duplicating efforts or were um, uh, out of sync. States say they're bidding like they're on eBay because the supplies are going to the private sector and then they have to go there to get the supplies. That's, uh, that's, normally, how things, uh, that's normally how things work, right? So I'm, I'm not here to disrupt uh, uh, a, a supply chain. This has added up to about $100 million in taxpayer-funded transportation flights um, for these items that the companies are then able to distribute as part of their normal contracts. By bringing in the private sector and by having the private sector responsible for so much of this distribution chain, a lot of what is being distributed through Project Airbridge became uh, proprietary in the, in the language of these companies that has made it extremely difficult to actually determine um, if it has been a success or if it has been the benefit that um, administration officials claim it has.